representative of lied Jesus and the other representative of the dead. That's right. Because you had to be reconciled by his death, but you had to be saved by his life. Mm. What verse are? Verse 12. Okay, now, let's, uh, let's go back to, uh, uh, let's go back to Leviticus 16 now, when the atonement was instituted. We're going to bring in something else here now. Leviticus 16, and we're going to pick it up at verse 29. Leviticus 16. And we'll pick it up at verse 29. 16 and 29. Okay. Go ahead, read. And this shall be a statue forever unto you, uh -huh. that in the seventh month, on the tenth day of the month, you shall afflict your souls and do no work at all, uh -huh. whether it be one of your own country or a stranger that sojourneth among you. Now he said, you shall do no work at all. You know, somehow the angel of the Lord said, do no servile work. Mm -hmm. But on the weekly Sabbath day and on the day of atonement, he said, do no work at all. No kind of work. Go ahead, read up. For on that day shall the priest make an atonement for you. See what he said, on that day, the priest shall make an atonement for you. So now that brings in something else. In order for the atonement to be made, you had to have a priest. Mm -hmm. And not just a priest, but it had to be a high priest. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and read on. To cleanse you. To that cleanse you. That's what the atonement was about. It was about the cleansing of your sins. Go ahead and read on. That you may be clean from all your sins before the Lord. Now he said that you might be clean from all your sins before the Lord. And this was done one time a year for everybody. You understand what I'm saying? Go ahead, read on. It shall be a Sabbath of rest unto you, uh -huh. and you shall afflict your souls by a statue forever. Go ahead. And the priest whom he shall anoint and whom he shall consecrate to minister in the priest's office in his father's stead shall make the atonement and shall put on the linen clothes, even the holy garment. So now, you know, like Aaron, he was the first high priest. Mm. Then once he died, it passed on to his son. And when his son died, it was supposed to pass on to his son. He said, a priest that is anointed, he shall make the atonement for you. Oh, could nobody else make it. The only one that could make the atonement for your soul on the day of atonement was the high priest. Could nobody else do it? Only the high priest. Go ahead and read on. And but, he shall make an atonement for the holy sanctuary. Uh-huh. And he shall make an atonement for the tabernacle of the congregation. Go ahead. And for the altar. And he shall make an atonement for the priest and for all the people of the congregation. Go ahead. And this shall be an everlasting statue unto you. Uh -huh. To make an atonement for the children of Israel for all their sins once a year. And he did as the Lord commanded Moses. You hear the Lord say you do it once a year. Mm -hmm. Once. Keep that, keep that word once in mind. Sure. Now, let's go to... Uh, Let's, let's go to uh, 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 Genesis chapter 14, and we'll begin reading at verse 17. So now you had to have our priest there. Mm -hmm. You know, we're looking at the parallel here. You know, the parallel is one goat represented Jesus, a live Jesus, and the other goat represented a dead Jesus. Because all of the sins of the people were laid up on Jesus, just as all of the sins of the people were laid up on one of those goats. And one of those goats was for the sin offering, and Jesus was for the sin offering, and one goat was for the atonement, and Jesus was for the atonement. Now you have to have a high priest. Let's go to uh, Genesis chapter 14, and we'll begin reading at verse 17. Genesis 14, and we'll begin at verse 17. 14 and 17. Okay, go ahead, me. And the king of Sodom went out to meet him after his return from the slaughter of Chedorlaomer uh -huh. and of the kings that were with him at the valley of Sheva, which is the king's dale. Go ahead. And Melchizedek, king of Salem, uh -huh. brought forth bread and wine. Go ahead. And he was the priest of the Most High God. Now it said it's Melchizedek, he brought forth bread and wine, mm -hmm. and he was the priest of the Most High God. Go ahead, read on. And he blessed him and said, 
Blessed be Abram of the Most High God, possessor of heaven and earth. Uh -huh. And blessed be the Most High God, which have delivered thine enemies into thine hand. Go ahead. And he gave him tithes of all. Now let's go over to uh, Psalm chapter 110, and we'll pick it up at, ver at verse 1. Mm -hmm. So now we have this Melchizedek, mm -hmm. and he's the high priest of the Most High God. Let's go to Psalm 110, and we'll pick it up at verse 1. And this Melchizedek, notice what he did? He brought forth bread and wine and mm -hmm. said, didn't he? Let's go to uh, Psalm chapter 110, and we'll begin read at verse 1. Psalm 110, and we'll pick it up at verse 1. 110 and 1. 110 and 1. Okay. Go ahead. 110 and 1. Go ahead and read. The Lord said unto my Lord. Now, one Lord said to another Lord. And we're going to understand this is the Father saying to Jesus. Mm. David said, the Lord said unto my Lord. Go ahead and read. Sit thou at my right hand uh -huh. until I make thine enemies thy footstool. Now, one Lord told another Lord, I want you to sit at my right hand until I make thine enemies thy footstool. And look at what else he said to the Lord that was sitting at the right hand. Go ahead and continue to read. The Lord shall send the rod of thy strength out of Zion. Uh -huh. Rule thou in the midst of thine enemies. And at the appointed time, that's going to happen. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, continue reading. Thy people shall be willing in the day of thy power. Uh -huh. In the beauties of holiness from the womb of the morning, thou hast the dew of thy youth. Go ahead, read. The Lord hath sworn and will not repent. Go ahead. Thou art a priest forever after the order of Melchizedek. They say here, you are the Lord that was told to sit at the right mm -hmm. hand. He said, you will be a priest forever after the order of Melchizedek. Not after the order of Aaron, but after the order of Melchizedek, it said, right. didn't it? Let's go now and understand who this is. Because we got to get us a high priest. Mm -hmm. Because on the Day of Atonement, couldn't nobody make the atonement but the high priest. Right. None of the other priests could do it. Mm -hmm. Only the high priest could do it. Now, we are looking at the parallel mm -hmm. between what was done on the Day of Atonement when it was instituted and the atonement today. Mm -hmm. We understand that Jesus is the atonement, right? Now, let's understand who the high priest is. Let's go to Hebrews chapter 5, and we'll begin read at verse 1. Hebrews 5, and we will pick it up at verse 1. Okay, go ahead and read. For every high priest taken from among men is ordained for men and things pertaining to God. Go ahead. That he may offer both gifts and sacrifices for sin. Uh -huh. Who can have compassion on the ignorant and on them that are out of the way. Go ahead. For that he himself also is compassed with infirmity. Uh -huh. And by reason hereof he ought, as for the people, so also himself to offer for sin. Go ahead. And no man taketh this honor unto himself, but he that is called of God as was Aaron. See, you know, uh, no man could take this honor up on himself because God set up Aaron as high mm -hmm. priest, didn't he? And every pre high priest had to come out of Levi. Mm -hmm. You know, it had to come through the lineage of Aaron. That's, right. that's how it was supposed to have been done anyway. You know, down the line, Israel messed up everything. But that's how it was supposed to be done. It was supposed to be Aaron's son and then Aaron's son's son and his son's son mm -hmm. and so on until the end of the Levitical priesthood. But go ahead and continue reading. So also Christ glorified not himself to be made an high priest. Wait a minute. He said Jesus did not glorify himself to be made high priest. Now we got us a high priest, don't we? And who is the high priest? It is Jesus. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and read on. But he that said unto him, uh -huh. Thou art my son, today have I begotten thee. Go ahead. And he said also in another place, uh -huh. Thou art a priest forever after the order of Melchizedek. Then we read that. Now we understand who that was talking about, mm -hmm. right? That was talking about Jesus. He is the high priest forever after the order of Melchizedek. Go ahead and read on. Who in the days of his flesh, when who, he had... Who in the days of his flesh, when he did what? When he had offered up prayers and supplications with strong crying and tears uh -huh. unto him that was able to save him from death and was heard and that he feared. Now, what, what time was this? This was when he was mm -hmm. about to die, wasn't right. it? You remember he prayed to the Father three times, didn't it? Lord, remove this cup mm -hmm. from me. But then he said, nevertheless, Father, not my will be done, but let thy will be done. Read a little bit more. Though he were a son, yet learned he obedience by the things which he suffered. Go ahead. And being made perfect, he became the author of eternal salvation unto all them that obey him. Go ahead. Called of God and high priest after the order of Melchizedek. Now let's go to Matthew chapter 26 for a minute. 
Matthew. What did that male Jesus make sure with? When the bread and wine. Let's go to Matthew.